welcome to American Baker in Germany where the ingredients are German and the baker is American. I'm Michelle and today we are making a peacock themed cake. This was randomly a suggestion from my husband. He just randomly sent me a picture of a peacock cake and said, wow, isn't this beautiful? <laughs> and I told him, you do know that's a wedding cake, right? <laughs> If, if you, that's what you like there you go so I thought I'd go ahead and try out trying to make one so by the way if you are wondering about the video quality I have bought a new phone and I'm trying out taking the videos on my phone so if you are wondering this is a Samsung s20 plus so I hope they turn out nice uh, my other my previous phone was not terribly capable of even taking video. Uh, I kept trying and then after like 30 seconds it would freeze up and it wouldn't save it. It was awesome. No, it wasn't. It sucked. So that's why I never used my other phone. But this one's supposed to be a really good camera so I hope that it uh, ends up being decent quality. Hence why I don't have a, a microphone on right now. Um, I will continue to publish the videos that I've already recorded with my other camera, but I just thought that you might want to know why the quality is suddenly better. <sighs> anyway, let's get started. I started out frosting a six inch cake dummy offset on a large cake board with vegan American buttercream. Then I rolled out some white fondant and laid it over the cake. I smoothed it on with my fondant smoother and my hands and cut off the excess with a knife. Then I frosted a four inch cake dummy with vegan American buttercream on a separate cake board and covered it with white fondant as well. Then I place the top tier offset onto the bottom tier. Then using dark blue fondant I modeled the head and body of the peacock. I cut a length of wooden skewer and placed it through the neck. And if this were real cake I would have pushed it into the cake to anchor the body as well. Now it's time to make the peacock feathers. Male peacocks have these gorgeous, intricate tail feathers. I'm greatly simplifying them to make them out of fondant. I begin by cutting out about three quarters of a circle and use a knife to cut a peak on one side to make a teardrop shape. Then I cut out some yellow circles and place them on the green teardrops. Then I cut out some smaller dark blue circles and cut a wedge out of them, placing them with the missing pie slice facing the opposite direction than the teardrop. And I place them in a fan pattern beginning at the tail and fanning across the cake. This will take a lot of these feathers, so be prepared to make a whole lot of them. But you can also make the tail as large as you want. I'm fanning onto the cake board, but you could make some as cupcake toppers and have the tail fan onto a grouping of cupcakes next to the cake. This design is absolutely perfect for a wedding.
Finally, I used some black food coloring to paint some detail in the head. I love how classically beautiful this cake is and how easy it is to make it bigger or smaller depending on the needs of your occasion. It really makes an impression. For more cakes and recipes, visit our website at AmericanBakerInGermany.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Subscribe for a new cake every week. Hit the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload a new video.